this is River is the Sun, and Mr. Otterton is the Blue Huge Roof. Um, Mr. Otterton um, is still quite nervous. Um, oh, he's such a big boy. Look at him. What a good boy. What a good boy. Do you want to come out? You can come out and go hide in your nest if you want to. Do you feel like it? He's been hiding when, when the humans are around, which I understand. He's had a lot of changes. What a handsome boy. What a handsome boy. Can I pet you from the side? I'm going to take you in here. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, yeah. a good boy. Oh, so handsome. So fluffy. You should come check out your new cozy nest. He's monitoring. Oh gosh. I know. He was leaning against my hand and then he slipped when I moved my hand. Oh no. That's so embarrassing. Oh, what a good boy. Can I give him a good boy? Thumb me on it. think we can do inside the cage or is that too scary? It's pretty scary. Oh, you're a good boy. It's too fuzzy. I would love for you to see your new your new nest because I think you're going to like it. Um let's see. give you a nest view and then I'm going to see if I can encourage him Go check it out. Is your friends doing?
to very safe. Oh, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. So, Mr. Otterton does have some noisy breathing, probably of a respiratory infection. Um, which we will work on. Um, they have appointments on Tuesday. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. I shouldn't talk while I'm doing things. Um, yeah, so they have appointments Tuesday. Um, so we are going to get, you know, lung x-rays and all that stuff. And of course, we need a feline leukemia FIV test for Mr. Otterton. And we know his, we are already treating his ear infections and he's on antibiotics. Um, and uh, there was a multitude of tapeworm segments parading around um, BT's bum. So uh, they, they got their initial round of deworming for roundworms and then they've now had a second round for tapeworms and so um what a good boy so we are working on that situation um the ear mites should be dead by now but there's still a lot of inflammation and gunk in there and little tiny ear mite corpses that need to work their way out of his ears, so. He's such a good boy. So he's, he's still got, you know, a ways to go, but he's making progress. the ear mites were like it seemed like a thriving ancient civilization of like it was like layers upon layers of ear mites and eggs and stuff so um it's been like that a long time but he's probably feeling better he does have some muscle on his butt, so that's good. His his belly is bloated, which could be parasites, um, or you know, could be any number of other things. Um, but uh, we will find out on Tuesday. It's apparently a holiday weekend, so. Um, Everyone has, uh, the vets are off on Monday, so, um, that's why we're going Tuesday. So we should have a better idea of kittens and, uh, what additional treatment he might need. It's possible he has something like FIV. Being an older guy who's clearly, I'm gonna, although he's neutered, he may not have been in as many fights, so hopefully he doesn't have anything like that. But um, with all the way all of his teeth are broken off, um, it's very possible there has been some fighting to survive or a trauma, something like that that he has survived, so here's the 
here's there's BT, our mama to be, checking out the windowsill. So we'll see where they all decide to hang out. It's nice to have friendly, friendly cats, even if the boys are a little nervous. Um, it took me it took me a minute when I was doing their intakes to figure out how to handle them so as not to stress them out with like a toweling if they didn't need it. And they did so good. Mr. O. Um I'm like debating whether I should try to look in his ears before he goes in there or not. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll take your he does like to have to hide his head. He's kind of a nervous hider and I'm not sure how he will enjoy being picked up. I don't think I tried to pick him up. He's very sweet and gentle so far. Here, that's like he's holding on to my leg. Oh my, those are some impressive talons that he has. Let's put that out of the way. This was not very good pulling. There we go. Okay. Sorry, buddy. There you go. I'll stop. Oh gosh. <laughs> I will stop flailing about. Oops, wrong one. Nope. The cameras aren't labeled when they get attached, so I never know which one I'm operating. You know, it's a minor issue. But still. Alright, there. Let's get you comfortable in my lap hole. And maybe I'll just take a look. You're being so good. Oh, so many scabs. Ooh, I'm going to give you a little swab because you're pretty gooey. You're getting ear meds twice a day. inflammation and itchiness and bacteria and nasty stuff. But we still have to keep sort of excavating. It does look a great deal less inflamed. Although it's definitely still sensitive and itchy. There. Oh, what a good boy. I know it's so itchy. I know. Get a little 
もう少しね。Oh, I know that would be good one. That was a productive squish. I know, so itchy, huh? You're being so good. Such a good boy. You don't want to do too much at a time. Oh, what a good boy. Ooh, look at his sides. Easy too. So much ooze. You're looking very cute at the moment. I think I need to pause for a video. Good boy. What a good boy. You're such a good boy. My goodness, so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at his face. scabs from so much scratching. Poor guy. So much ooze. What a good boy. Ooh, that was a productive squish. Mm. Oh my yeah. I'm not going to do too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going to have a shake. Shakies for you. Okay, we'll just do a couple more. Good 
Good boy. Okay, I think that's enough. You did so good. So good. Oh my gosh, look at his face, everybody. Look at his face. Who is falling in love right now? Oops. Just the cutest. That's his fluff, not his skin. Don't worry. So cute. It's adorable. He's a good boy. He's a really good boy. He needs some love. And he's going to get it. He's eating very well. He's drinking well. Um, oh, and he played. He played last night and it was the cutest thing that we've ever seen because he's been pretty scared and um, hiding most of the time when the humans are visiting. But um, let's see if I can show you. Boy, looking around. Do you want to go sneak away? Let me move this so you don't make loud noises and scare yourself. You can go in that nest, that's for you. Um, I'll make it more cozy. Do you, or do you think you can, I guess I can't get it there. There, now it's a good cozy width. Oh my gosh, his face. I love him so much. <laughs> uh, 
Are you a special boy? Are you a special, magnificent boy? You are so brave and handsome. Thank you. Oh my goodness, who did that? I can pet them. Pet you are so good. Oh. Are we so good? Let me get that one more kiss. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh. How much do you love him? So much. You're such a good boy. Let me go in that nice safe nest. So he's definitely a senior kitty, and so we're expecting he'll have some health issues. Um, but we just really, really want him to have like a tiny sofa by the fire for the rest of his years. So um, we're definitely going to be finding him a home, and he's a very sweet cat. He's just nervous because he's inside for the first time he's got very big paws so if you are falling in love with with him as much as we are you can apply tinykittens.com slash adopt although we don't know what his long-term medical needs might be and maybe he won't have any but at his age Uh, we know he needs a lot of dental surgery and he has a uh, upper respiratory infection of some sort and of course chronic earwind infections have caused some cauliflower ears which is some scarring and that sort of thing in his ears so we're treating all those things Can I get a better look at your neck? He's got lots of scabs on his look at that. such a good boy. We'll get you all sorted out. Don't you worry. I think he's probably feeling better by now, hopefully, after some deworming and having his ears cleaned and treated and lots of good food, but I know he's stressed. 
but I think he will adjust pretty fast, hopefully. He's really handsome. Oh my gosh, look at his face and his big paws. He's so cute. So anyway, we're very happy he's with us. Could not be cuter. So the three of them know each other and we're keeping them together for now and we'll see how they get along um, and if at some point they don't seem to be getting along or enjoying each other's company then we may change the housing situation but for now they've been they have been getting along um, pretty well. Um, oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? Do you want to go explore? Oh, does that look exciting and interesting? Look at all your alopecia. Okay, yeah, go. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, don't go behind the camera, no. That's not. You won't fit back there. Yeah, you will fit in that nest. Okay, if you're gonna go that way, I'm gonna have to help you a little bit. Oh my goodness, that's a belly. Okay, let's switch in there. So currently in the nest, we have Mr. Otterton and River, and BT, our prego mama, is on the ledge getting her ledge skills down early. Um, let's see, so Mr. Otterton, I think I started saying, did have a, a burst of playtime overnight, which was very adorable. Uh, it was one of the kickers, which I brought over so that he can have adorable kicker time. Again, I should find them a new catnip toy. Um, I think I was going to and then I forgot what I was doing. I know that's shocking to hear. Um, I think I will leave the Q-tips in here. And maybe I will just go get something fun and catnippy. And then he's going to be
you. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. Alright, now let's see if I can. Two audio sources, I think. That fluffy butt is <laughs> blocking the camera on the other side. Okay, good. So I'm going to leave them, and in case you missed it earlier, um, hi, you so pretty. Um, these guys will be primarily on VIP for now, anyway, um, since we already have two streams going, and, um, but I will keep everyone updated, and, um, so we'll do some, we'll do check-ins, and then, of course, when the kittens are the kittens are coming, then we'll do, um, we'll switch them over, but, um, for now, they will be on VIP, and so you can sign up for that if you would like, and with our gratitude, of course, um, we love our VIPs. So, we'll see if we can make a run for it. So, thanks to everyone for tuning in, and I will put you back on Mitch. I think I will. I'm going to try. I'm pretty sure I will. I think it's going to work. <laughs> thanks for tuning in.